How to plan a video program for something like Teachable. Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. To never miss out on one of our new videos posted every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time, please make sure you're subscribed to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. Of course, if you want one-to-one -one training, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. A lot of people want to be able to leverage the knowledge that they have by creating online video series. It's really a great idea, and especially if you're already hosting classes, if you're already a coach, you should be you know, multiplying your efforts and cloning yourself by creating these video programs. So how do you go about thinking about a video program? Well, you first obviously need to have an introduction, an overview. What is the syllabus? syllabus of the course. You want to have this short video in order to tell people what they're going to learn and how they're going to be able to utilize it in their everyday life. Not only is that going to give someone an idea of what they should expect from that program, then they're also going to be able to be inspired to continue on with the program because they want to reach those goals. This overview video not only is great for people who are starting that course, however, it's also going to be a great tool to use for your promotion. You could use that overview video in order to try to sell your course. Now look at your course and break down into those different chapters. Try not to make any video jump into too many different ideas and chapters. Let it be in bite-sized chunks so then that way someone can learn at their own pace. So think about what is your particular program and what are those little chapters that you can have. And then you want to make sure that you have a closing video. A closing video is going to be a brief explanation about what they've learned throughout the entire course. Perhaps you want to remind them of some videos they might need to re-watch in case they're not quite in tune with what that program should have taught them. And then lastly, you need to have a call to action. Even though they might have already purchased your course and you think that that residual income is great, what's that next step? Should they be connecting with you for more one-to-one -one training? Is there perhaps another course that you should be recommending to them so that way they can continue on in their journey and progression? What is that call to action? You never just wanna give someone a program and then say, okay, we're done. No, what's gonna be that next step? Not only is that going to be helping the people watching that program, it's going to help you keep these people who have already joined your community, who love you, stay connected with you, and then help you get even more residual income. So that is how you can plan a video program. Just a quick recap, you always wanna make sure that you have an overview, which is not only gonna be beneficial for people who are participating in the program, but you can also use it as a promotional tool. Think about your little chapters throughout your program. And then lastly, give an overview to let people know what they should have learned, what they should be rewatching, and what is that call to action? What is that next step that they should be taking with you? Once again, I'm Taylor Wellman with Financial Potion, and if you want one-to-one -one training to talk more about your program and planning your video series, please click above, connect with me on our Patreon page where there are extremely affordable opportunities. Till next week, stay engaging.